All new here at 430 are 8 News Now investigators obtaining video of a drive-by shooting that claimed the life of an innocent woman. It's hard to see here, but the video shows a teenager literally hanging out of a car while spraying a neighborhood with bullets. Another example of violent crime in our valley involving young people. 8 News Now investigator David Charn speaking with the shooting victim's family as they now push for justice. I would just tell her I'm very sorry that this happened to you. What happened in the moments after Shauna McCowan and her friend went on a walk on this April night before she became a shooter's unintended victim? She could literally find a way to speak to anybody about anything. McCowan's sister, Autumn, speaking with the 8 News Now investigators from her home in Colorado. Shauna McCowan split her time between Las Vegas and Denver, where she worked as a teacher and flight attendant. Shauna could have been any of us. Yeah. Video the aid News Now investigators obtained from that night shows Shauna and her friend walking here in the South Valley. Minutes later, a car pulls down the street. Two teenagers running from bullets. Police say a passenger was spraying from it. As the car comes closer to the camera, the shooter hangs out the window, firing bullets into the street. Of those nearly two dozen projectiles, one would hit Shauna McCowan. I just don't think that like people understand the magnitude of their actions sometimes. In the months since, Las Vegas Metro Police have arrested four teenagers in connection with Shauna's death. Police suspect then 15-year-old Kevin Perez Stubbs, seen here shortly after his arrest, was the shooter. These videos of him with the stolen ghost gun police suspect was used in the murder. Other teenagers telling police the shooting was in retaliation for a fight involving the stolen gun earlier in the evening. Shauna McCowan caught in the middle. Shauna's sister says she plans to stare her accused killer down as his case heads toward trial. To show up and to be that spokesperson for my family and, you know, voice the impact that it's had and be able to look this person or people in the eye in this case and just let them know that, like, I hope that they know the weight of their actions and actually what it causes. So far, three teenagers, including the driver and Kevin Perez Stubbs' brother, who was also in the car, have taken plea deals, though the details of those agreements are sealed. Kevin Perez Stubbs is set to go on trial this June. I'm David Charns, 8 News Now. As David mentions, the plea deals are sealed likely because those three other teenagers agreed to work against the accused shooter. And because of his age, if convicted, a judge would legally have to sentence Kevin Perez Stubbs to prison with the possibility of parole. Our 8 News Now investigators will have more on that issue next week in a special report.